welcome to everyone. Welcome to everyone listening to this right now, and welcome to everyone who listened to this in the past and is listening to it again. Welcome. Welcome to the people who thought about listening to it, then had stuff to do, and then listened to it again later. What? No, they didn't listen to it the first Look, I'm not going to lie. There's a bunch of stuff that's happening around me right now that <laughs> that you can't see. <laughs> and perhaps it's ungentlemanly of me to call it out, but many things were being adjusted. Volumes were being slid hither and yon. See folks, we're we're what we do on this show is we fly by the seat of our pants. What does that expression mean? You can't do that. Was there, I mean, I get, I get what it's supposed to mean, but where does it come from? Because I don't, I don't pretend to be an Orville or a Wilbur Wright, but I'm pretty sure that's not how aviation works. Not even in dreams. People have flying dreams. They fly different ways. I'm one of the types of people that I take a running jump, and then I'm flying. And then I swim through the air. Other people, they levitate. I'm going to bet you no one has a dream where all of a sudden the seat of their pants pulls them up into the air. Come on, guys. Don't kid a kidder. You know what I'm saying? I've seen, all, I've seen all kinds of aircraft. I've seen all kinds of pants in my life. Never seen them cross over. I've lived a long time on this earth. Too long, some might say. Time for me to hang it up. When will Jesus take me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spontaneity Nation with Paul F. Tompkins. I am the second part. This is a show where I invite a special guest onto the program to join me in a free-form conversation inspired by a blind question from our previous episode's guest. Then I invite some improviser pals onto the show to join me in a narrative improv that is one continuous story as opposed to unconnected scenes inspired by a location provided to us by our special guest and oftentimes utilizing details gleaned from the aforementioned freeform conversation. And it is all scored on piano by Mr. Eben Schletter. That's what he goes like. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to have this gentleman on the show today. You will recognize him from the smash hit HBO series Insecure. Please welcome Jay Ellis. Is that me? That is you. <laughs> Wait, is it? Is that? You're not an imposter, are you? Yeah. This isn't a catch me if you can situation, <laughs> is it? Uh, am I going to catch you? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm here. Jay, welcome to the show. Thanks, man. Uh, how are you? Let's uh, start with that. Uh, good. Good. I know you have a plane to catch. I do have a plane to catch. This is exciting. We are we are <laughs> we're on a time constraint. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, what can you tell us where you're going? Brownsville, Texas. What's happening there? I'm going to speak at a rally. This is exciting stuff. What is the rally? Uh, it's it's uh, about keeping families together. Uh, the you know to uh, to basically get the government to overturn the current legislation that allows families to be split up when they come to the border and detained. So you're against this. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> now, luckily, yes. this will be released in the future. By then, I'm sure all of these problems will be completely solved. Yes, <laughs> that's the way the future works. That's right. That's the, of course, that's the way the future works. All right, Jay. Well, safe travels, and thank you for speaking out. Thank now, you. I have a question for you. This is from our previous episode's guest, okay, who has curious handwriting. <laughs> Oh, here we go. What is the most romantic country in the world and why? (laughs) Uh, What? 
What? It, what? <laughs> the most romantic. Country the most romantic country in the world. In and why? The world. Now I feel like this is this is a difficult question because la when this person wrote this down last week, we briefly discussed it in the room, and it's. I feel like it's hard to pin down a country as being the romantic because you think of cities certainly. Yeah. But a country, and then we all we all kind of agreed on one answer. Italy. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. <laughs> they fooled us. They have fooled us. The the Italians have fooled us. <laughs> they have fooled us. They have fooled us all. But we all believe they have fooled us all. We all believe that Italy is the most romantic. Country but now, why world. do you say Italy? What made you arrive at that conclusion? I mean, the language, the food, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The the, the sun kissed skin, uh, the smell of lasagna. <laughs> I don't even know if that's really Italian. <laughs> Not just the food, but also the smell of the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now, here's why. Here's how we came to that. Because if you say France, mm -hmm. let's say you think of Paris. Mm -mm. Let's say you think of the south of France. But as a country, mm -mm. you don't necessarily think, oh, the entire country of France is very romantic. But Italy, you feel like you come up with several different places. Yes. And then all the other details, as you have mentioned them. The smells of food. Now, have you been to Italy? I've never been. I have been to Italy. Have you been to many places in Italy? I've been to many places in Italy. <laughs> what was your favorite place? Lake Como. And what brought you there? Uh, a train. <laughs> no? Uh, <laughs> George Clooney, actually. I, I, I had read somewhere. Nope, see, you got super excited. Uh, I had read somewhere <laughs> that Clooney had a house in Lake Como. Yes. And so I was like, oh, I want to see what this Lake Como is about. And mm -hmm. we made him buy a house there. Right. So then I caught a train. And did it live up to the hype? It, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful. But now you weren't you weren't moved to buy a house there. <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> I was not, for many, many reasons. For many I couldn't get the pennies together to uh, <laughs> the euros together. <laughs> <laughs> to make it work. But you went over there with checkbook open. You were you were like, I'm ready to fall in love with this. Let's see. And then the check bounced. <laughs> and then I came home. <laughs> Traveling by train. So you, I, I love train travel. Okay. It is, it is unfortunate that trains are confined to rails because <laughs> the, otherwise they could go more places. Um, where were you traveling from to get to Lake Como? Would that be a plane? That would be a plane. But plane travel is not. What about a bus? I've taken a Greyhound to Miami before from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh. Holy, how long of a ride is that? It was it was 29 hours. Holy moly. Were you awake the whole time? Uh, I was awake for a lot of it <laughs> because I was terrified for most of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah, bus yeah. is something else. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got stopped for a lot of random drug checkpoints. Really? Yeah. When was this? Uh, early 2000s. How many random <laughs> drug checkpoints were there? Well, I didn't know this at the time, but it used to be that stretch of the 10 across the southern part of America was like the most trafficked highway, drug trafficked highway in the world. Or I'm sorry, in the States. So uh, we got stopped in Texas, in Louisiana, in Alabama, and of course in Florida. There's more cocaine in Florida than there are people. <laughs> It's, it's a lot. Uh, so, of course, we got stopped there. <laughs> so now at every the, every one of these stops, somebody comes on the bus and what do they do? They, they have a dog, I would imagine. They, so they come on the bus. Uh, they tell us that we all have to get off. It feels very like it, it feels very much like Handmaid's Tale. Right. Um, then they line everybody up across from the bus. You're not allowed to touch your bags. They pull all the bags out one by one. A dog then goes and sniffs the bag. Oh. And then if something happens, if, if, if the dog starts barking, then the officer walks over, says, whose bag is this? That person foolishly raises their hand. Uh, and then they have to stand with their bag with the dog, and they have to go through their bag with the, while the, watch the officer go through their bag. Hopefully there's nothing in there. There was nothing in there when I was traveling in any of the bags. So nobody got? Nobody got. Okay. The, oh, so the, the dog did not discover anything or? Dogs barked. The dogs did bark. Officers searched. Nothing was found. Now, there are a lot of people that I never saw or heard from ever again. You didn't keep in touch with uh, your, your fellow passengers? Nah. <laughs> nah. We didn't have a lot in common. There was a lot to talk about. What's the longest train trip you've ever taken? Have you ever done like a cross country? I've done, <laughs> guys. Hey. It's going to sound far bougier than what it is. I've done Paris to Zurich, Switzerland. Ooh. 
<laughs> how long how long of a trip is that? Uh, it was about a six hour trip, seven hour trip, something mm-hmm. like that. Not mm-hmm. that long. I mean, long, but not that long. You know. But it's nice to be on the train. Yeah, it was great. The train is very comfortable. Oh, it was beautiful. It's a great way to travel. Yeah. Uh, what is the longest flight you've ever taken? Sixteen hours. Was that to Australia? Dubai and Dubai. Australia, actually. Yeah, but Dubai. Now, Dubai, did you have the super treatment? Uh, I had decent treatment, yeah. <laughs> I, I had good treatment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've seen the commercials. I didn't have that. I didn't have the apartment yeah, in first that class. That shit is no, I didn't have, it's insane. It's bigger than this room. I didn't have the apartment <laughs> yeah. in first class with your own shower. Yeah, and, a little doorbell. Yeah, <laughs> the little puppy that they give you at the end is like a flying gift. I didn't, I didn't get that. I said, just behind that cabin. What brought you to Dubai? Uh, I was actually flying to South Africa to go film a movie. So, oh, wow. And okay. I flew through Dubai. And the only reason I did it is because a friend of mine told me that if you fly Emirates and you fly through Dubai, obviously, and there's a long layover and they put you up in a hotel. So I was like, oh, I get to stay in an Emirates hotel for free mm-hmm. while flying Emirates Airlines. It wasn't that great. It was a hotel in the airport. Uh, in the airport. In the airport. <laughs> yep. So that was cool. It's just flights taking off the entire time. <laughs> so you really don't sleep. Oh, is it? It's, it's in the air. Insanely it's legitimately loud. inside <laughs> the airport. You're it's just, legitimately inside the airport. You're just hearing the roar of planes All constantly. Day. Just backing out from the gate, coming into the gate. Flight 365 to <laughs> London, taking off at gate A32. <laughs> yeah. All day. All night. Literally 24 hours. Earplugs didn't help? They didn't give me <laughs> They should have. Oh, that should be right next to the Bible in that drawer. <laughs> yeah, they should have been, actually. Yeah. And then, like, on one side of the room was glass, which was the side that looked into the airport hallway. Mm-hmm. So there were lights on the entire time also. Mm-hmm. So it you could never really – it felt like being in Vegas. You could never really sleep because right. the lights were just on at all times. Fantastic. It was great. I wouldn't take that trip again. Is South Africa where they have the, the hotel where the – the giraffes come in the window. <laughs> do you know the place I'm <laughs> yeah, talking I about? Do. I do. Everyone posts that. <laughs> it, that's that's an Instagrammer. I should go there. No, they. Uh, that's in. Uh, that's in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah, okay. In Kenya. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you see any exotic animals while you were in South Africa? I saw hyenas, lions, mm-hmm. rhinos, zebras, elephants. Uh few people sure uh yeah i saw a lot how long were you there three and a half months holy moly yeah so you had some downtime yeah Mm. Yeah. (laughs) tons (laughs) far too much how close did you get to any of these sharks i saw a shark oh really yeah i cage dive i saw a shark oh i I I truly and went and went well watching and went well watching I could not cage dive. I couldn't the, do it. The day I went, uh, the day before I went, I told a friend of mine that I was going, and he sent me a picture of a Russian woman uh, who got her fit, her foot, excuse me, bit off uh, while she was like prancing in like a bikini, like on the edge of a boat, and like in her like cage. She jumps in the cage, and as soon as she jumps in, this shark like literally jumps in the cage with her. Yeah, they pull her out. Her foot's gone. Now, so I went the next day. That that's not fair. Like you know what I mean? We have we have those cages. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those are those are for us. Yes. You stay you stay you outside. You stay on your side. Yeah. I'll stay inside. You have the whole ocean. <laughs> and it's a big ocean. It's a, it's a big, big ocean. ocean. <laughs> Why do you want to come in my little box? <laughs> yeah. There so did you hear that story before or after? Which one? The story about the woman getting her foot bit off. I literally saw it right before. <laughs> Someone sent it to me the day before I went. The day before. But you still did it. Oh, hell yeah, I did. I just figured if I didn't prance in a bikini on the side of the boat. Right. This is what they like. The shark wouldn't be pissed off and <laughs> exactly. want my foot. So exactly. I this, didn't prance. I didn't this, do any dancing. This has been shown to be a thing <laughs> yeah. that attracts sharks. Yeah. I learned I learned like what not to do. And did the shark, uh, how close did the sharks get to uh, the cage? I mean, they get right up to the cage. I mean, yeah. they, they definitely like, you know, their, their, their noses uh, definitely hit the bars and graze. Their fin, their side fins as they turn, graze the... Graze the uh, graze the cage. They chum the water for about half an hour to an hour before you get out there, and then as soon as you get out there, they're still kind of chumming. And by that time, sharks have now made their way. We How saw much? six great whites. Oh my god! Ranging from like, I think the smallest was like sixteen feet, 
or something like that. And that was a baby. That was an adolescent. <sighs> yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you touch any of these sharks? Absolutely not. Do they tell you not to? They do tell you not to put your hand outside the cage. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But then also, just to be honest, I feel like I'm black. At least I look like it from what I understand when I look in a mirror. And so there are rules to which there are things that you just shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want to be the black dude who stuck his hand outside a cage. I would be like the first one in history. Like I didn't want to be that dude. You'd be a meme. Yeah. 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 You would absolutely That's be a meme. That's why black people don't go cage yeah. shot. Yeah. So I didn't want to be that. I didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How close were you to uh, to the rhinos, which I f feel are also very terrifying animals? The rhinos, I was probably, mm -hmm. the closest we got was probably like 15 feet. Were you in a vehicle? We were in a vehicle. Yeah, okay. Again, they tell you not to stick your hands out. Right. There are some people who do. There are some people who lean out to get pictures. Elephants? Same, di same, same distance from the elephants. I feel like I would like to touch an elephant. You can do that. I know, I know there are places where you can. This was not one of those no, situations. this was definitely not one of those situations. They were in the wild. Would you touch an elephant if you could? I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't want nobody just touching me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't want to be pet. That's fair. When I'm out in my wild, you know, it's like if I'm walking into like Whole Foods, I don't want somebody like, oh my God, it's Jay the elephant. Like, and pet, petting me. It's Jay the elephant. Yeah. You know? In our Whole Foods. In our Whole Foods. <laughs> How did he get in here? I bet he's shopping for peanut butter. <laughs> what if an elephant touched you? I would let that happen. <laughs> I would let that happen. Okay, so it's not a... <laughs> I mean, I can't tell him not to. <laughs> I could try. But I don't know if he's going to... I don't know if he's really going to understand how he's crossing a boundary. Do you have pets now, and did you have pets growing up? I do not have any now. I had dogs growing up. Okay, what kind of dogs? German Shepherds. Uh, like, was that like the family always had German Shepherds yeah, or? Yeah. Always. How many German Shepherds can you remember? Four. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Do you, are your parents still with us? Mm hmm Do they still have they German do Shepherds? Not. They, they, they do not. My parents moved to LA like four years ago. Uh-huh. And they've been talking about getting a dog the entire time, but they haven't gotten one yet. They haven't committed yet. Right. Commitment issues in my family. <laughs> Although they've been together for 36 years. Which was, well, that's, look, if you, if you can make that commitment, do you really have to do all the other commitments? <laughs> How, what was your, which, which of the German Shepherds was your favorite? Babe. <laughs> what made Babe different from the other ones? Babe was the one that was there the longest when I was a kid. Right. She was also really smart. Like yeah. she could like put her paw up on the door and like open it. And then she would turn around and like close the door with her. <laughs> knows and then like literally just go and she wasn't she wasn't never into like trouble she would just like come in the house make herself comfortable and then you would find out that she was in the house like an hour later you wouldn't even know it was really amazing really really smart she had her own routine she had her own thing she was smarter than all of us <laughs> which was your least favorite german shepherd shack and tucks was this shack and blake this is one shack and blake were twins twins then we had babe uh, and then my parents had another one, Charlie. And I didn't like Charlie so much. Uh, Charlie was an asshole, real honorary. Also came like after I was out of the house too, right. so he didn't really like me either. Like I was encroaching on he his territory, yes, exactly. and he was encroaching on my territory. Exactly. So we had beef. Um, guess who won? <laughs> uh, that's not nice. Um, uh, yeah, but but uh, Blake and, and and Shaq were probably my least favorite. Why? They were just fucking assholes. Just, Do you think it's because they were together? Maybe. I don't know. They were just really horrible, horrible dogs. To everyone or they just, just you? They just chewed everything. They pissed everywhere. They just, they did, they would flip their food over and like not eat it. Like they were just always super, super difficult. <laughs> they do sound they like just, assholes. Yeah, they're just like, they were like teenagers. <laughs> and they never stopped being that way? No. And did your parents keep them the whole time? No. They eventually got rid of them. They disappeared. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> they ran away. They got out the gate. <laughs> no other dog had ever gotten out the gate before. But these two found a way to get out the gate. Now, listen, I do also think uh, they were rambunctious enough that they mm -hmm. would have gotten out of the gate. Uh, but uh, 
you know, no one else ever got out the gate before. So it just, it feels a little odd that these two found their way out and I, were never found. I hate to point out the obvious, but uh, Babe was behind this. <laughs> Definitely. 100%. And <laughs> <In> the, <laughs> the kennel thank- pulling strings like a, <laughs> like a that's, crime boss. That's right. <laughs> Jay Ellis, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, man. I know we got to let you go. Uh, when is Insecure coming back? Uh, I think it starts in August. So uh, Insecure is already back. And uh, what else would you like to tell people about? My favorite dog. Sure. No. Uh, of all time. <laughs> of all time. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't. I don't really have anything else to tell people about. Well, all right. Where can people find you online should they wish to find you and should you wish to be found? Uh, at J.R. Ellis is all my social media handles. Uh, besides that, I really don't wish to be found. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you heard the man. Leave him alone. What are you, an elephant? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have to take a break. During the break, you will listen to the ad. When we return, we will meet our improvisers. Stay alive. No matter what occurs, I will find you. Hey friends, it is time for some tough love. Shut up and sit down and listen to me for once. This is about sleep. Stop rolling your eyes. You need to hear this. A quality night's sleep helps you recover from distractions faster. Ah! Helps prevent burnout. Helps you make better decisions. Improves your memory. And oh, shut up. And overall, it helps you make fewer mistakes. Now, this you know this is true. You get distracted and you can't recover. You're burned out. You make poor decisions. Your memory stinks. And you're making mistakes all the time. I see you. I love you. Luckily, there's my friend Lisa. L-I-S-A, no, stupid. I'm sorry I called you stupid. This is a charged situation. Lisa is a mattress company. And to design a better mattress, Lisa averaged 30 plus years of experience, let's say 31 years, and hundreds of hours of testing to develop, let's say 200, to develop the perfect mattress for all body shapes and sleeping styles. Even you, you mess. Lisa's mission is to provide a better night's sleep for everybody, even you, you mess. Through their 110 program, Lisa donates one mattress for every 10 they sell. That is thousands of mattresses and they're still doing it lisa strives to leave the world better than they found it wow lisa's thinking about how they're not going to be around anymore it doesn't stop with mattress donations either together with the arbor day foundation lisa plants one tree for every mattress they sell and they are committed to planting one million trees by the year 2025 Don't miss these summer savings mattress heads. Get $160 off a Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash PFT. That's L-E-E-S-A dot com slash PFT for $160 off. Lisa, better place to sleep. Ah, Welcome back, everybody. Oh, folks, it is time to meet our friends from the world of Make Pretends. What a lineup we have today. Three unhinged lunatics. <laughs> Seated right next to me. Oh, here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Here Lord I, have mercy. Here I go. Oh, man. <laughs> Folks, you know who it is. Gary Anthony Williams is here. Oh, yeah. Gary? Yep. Look at you. I'm not yet. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Friend? You're you're dressed in a fun way. Yeah, you know what? I you're, am. You got a jean on? I am. You got a Hawaiian shirt? Yeah. And it's the real deal, too. What do you got on your feet? You got some fun shoes. No, no, no. They're not even fun. I was going to wear my fun shoes, and I was like, I'm not going top to toe fun. How fun are these shoes? Man, they're not. These are my walk. <laughs> these are my walking shoes. No, how fun are the fun shoes? No, they're, they're pretty. They're pretty effing fun. Well, you you can swear. Flipping. <laughs> Thank you. They're pretty British flipping friends. fun. What is so fun about these shoes? The, the blue ones? Oh, now we've got a little Now clue. you already know. I, they're blue. <laughs> what shade are we talking? Cerulean? No, it's a deep, it's a very deep blue. Mm. It's a blue that makes people think. Like, I call them my thinking shoes, and people look at those shoes and they think. Would you say it's a calming blue? No, it's not at all. Because it makes people think. It really makes you think. I'm serious, too. 
Do you know what thoughts people think? Yeah, they think, I mean, they think like oceanic thoughts. It's like that kind of stuff. Like they think deep thoughts, oceanic thoughts. Do you think they think about the weird, weird, weird fish that live so deep down in the ocean? I love those. I love all those, like the ones that live by the volcanic You like vents. a see-through fish? I like the see-through ones, the one who live right near the sulfur vents. Yeah. I love that. The light bulb head fish, you like I'm, those guys? I'm all, I'm all, one thing, and you know about, if you teach a man to fish, mm. he'll eat for a day, mm -hmm. right? You give a man a fish. How long you eat? Lifetime. But if you teach a man to give a man a fish, shit. Can we get back to the beginning? If huh? you, <laughs> what had happened? What had happened? That's gonna be my new sitcom. <laughs> what had happened? What had happened? Yeah. With Gary Anthony Williams. Uh huh. I don't know what had happened. Now, are you married on the show? Uh, on the what had happened show? Yeah. <laughs> the first episode, I'm married. Right. Second episode, I'm not. And people are like, "Wait a minute, he ain't married." What had happened? Third episode. I'm married again, and it's like it never not happened. Do you think they pull a Kevin can wait, and you kill the wife, and then you don't? You're like totally blasé about it. That's the thing. You gotta you gotta tune in. You gotta tune in yeah, every other week. Got me. You got every, every other, other week. week. They don't know how now, coming they it airs, every week. It airs weekly, but watch it. Tune every in other week. every other week. It airs weekly. It, I, it, I sold 32 episodes. Airs weekly, but watch about 16 of them. That's what I say. <laughs> That's what I say to people. 32 episodes, yeah. one for every tooth in yep. the human head. Yep. Gary, I'm going to turn away from you now. You should. To look directly across from you. Kitty corner from me, meow. Hi, Paul. Ryan Gall is back. And very happy to Ryan, be back. I, now, Ryan, I'm, yes. I got a bone to pick with you. Oh. Pick it. <laughs> You're taking the foot out of this. <laughs> no, pick it. We are doing these shows, <clears throat> these improv shows, the cast of Bajillion Dollar Properties. Oh. We're, we're doing them the last. It's the third Tuesday of every month. Uh -huh. Who organized this? Paul, F. Paul F. Tompkins took did. the time to organize Number this. Number one on the call sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I, I'm in a text thread oh. with these goofballs. And let me tell you something. Okay. And when people ask me, Paul, you ever think about having kids? I say, I already got some. <laughs> <laughs> we are like your kids. This is like trying to get everyone to put their shoes on. I know. <laughs> so we can go to church. I, I feel awful <laughs> because it's, they're the most fun shows in the world. Here's what happened. We get, so we get this date. We have a recurring date at the UCB Theater Franklin. Mm -hmm. I say, here's the dates, everybody. Show's coming, Tuesday's co uh, coming up in the most recent show. Mm. I get a text from one of these goofballs, not Ryan. Not me. Hey, do we have a show this Tuesday? And I wrote back, is it in your calendar? Oh, oh God. <sighs> this is all right. Because another one of the goofballs is oh. already like, what are the dates of the show? Got like, scroll up, asshole. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> of course I'm right. <laughs> So then, so then, <laughs> I say, who who else is in for this Tuesday? Oh. Hear back dribs and drabs from this person, that person. <laughs> Hours go by, that person. Oh. Then I hear, cool up. Who's not even on the show? <laughs> cool up writes, well, Drew and uh, Tim and Ryan, they're all New York boys. I'm like, oh, I guess Ryan is already back in New York because no. of the last OG. I'm uh, telling this. I was talking to somebody else. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I say, oh, Ryan's already back in New York for the last OG. Then I see a picture. Ryan, post this picture on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he with his kids at the Magic Kingdom? Yes. That's Disneyland. We call it the Magic Kingdom here. Is it, though? Is it? Is it Disneyland? Is Are the you Magic making an assumption? I'm making an assumption that the Magic Kingdom is Disneyland. Well, that's a wrong assumption. When something? you make an assumption, mm -hmm. you make an ass out of yourself. But <laughs> no, I was at Disney World. Hmm. Also the Magic Kingdom. Yes. But can both kingdoms be magical? Not at the same time. So only one is magic at a time? Yes. But they're both open at the same time. Is it that? Yes. <laughs> Disneyland and Disney World, both, they're open 24 hours a day. Is that correct? I assume so. 
I mean, I don't stay there 24 hours a day, but <laughs> I assume they're open. They, I look back every time and they're, they're still the, open. Yeah. They're the LL Bean of amusement parks. So you were in Florida. I was in Florida. Okay. Yeah, on a vacation with my children Aww. before I go to New York and abandon them, That's which right. I have not told them about yet. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Oh. I've waited so long and then it's become, they're like, what are we doing next week? And I'm like, I'm probably crying. <laughs> now it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask yes. for permission. Yeah. Well, I plan on just going like, oh, going, because I've, I've been back and forth a yeah. lot. So I'm going to just do something where I go like, well, I'm off. Uh, see you guys soon. And the, Felix, who's a seven-year-old, is always like, how many days? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, how many days, That's going to be a tough answer. <laughs> I will cross them off daily. Papa. And await your return. Tell me the number of days. <laughs> and I'm going to have to be like, well, it's could be we're not sure it's gonna be a few days mm -hmm. it's gonna be a few days because mm -hmm. i really don't know i could be back in a week for a few days to visit it sure. might be three weeks it could be a month depending on how uh, heavy a josh episode it is i mean those josh episodes they can get heavy <laughs> they're not light they're heavy in many senses in many senses here's what i say literally D uh, and Figuratively. Figuratively. Here's what I, here's my advice. Okay. Don't tell the kids that you're going to New York. Just, just say you're going out to do, to do errands. I'm going to do errands. How I'm gonna many go, days? I'm going to go. That's true. Up. He doesn't ask how he's many days. He's not going to ask how many, who would ask that? A, a lunatic. Now, what do I do on day three when he's like, what, what air, what errands are you doing? Oh, I think you just go radio silent. Like you did with me. <laughs> oh, <man>. Ryan. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to look away from you <laughs> to look directly across from me. Jamie Moyer's back. Come on. Hello. Hello, Jamie. You can bring the microphone out to your mouth, Jamie. He's I'm, like I'm leaning very up loud. to the mic. I'm, I'm very loud. You're as loud as you need to be. Thank you. Jamie, how have you been? Oh, just great. Just have, wonderful. How close have you ever been to an exotic animal? I have... Swam with some exotic fish. I've seen a big ass turtle under the water. Uh, well, you were in the water and then under the water you saw the turtle. Yes, oh. that, that's probably the most exciting. Now listen, I am not. I'm. I like the ocean, but I like being on top of the ocean. Yes. I love boats. I love to go to the beach. I can go in the water as far as I can still stand and be mm -hmm. perfectly happy, but I get freaked out in the deep ocean. So snorkeling for me has always been like, well, there's no way I would do that. But I would love to see a turtle just swimming yes, around. Yes, it under was there. out there. We, I, was in, I was in the deep water. And he looks like a distinguished old gentleman. He was a big boy. Yeah. I How like, big would you say? Uh, well, sorry, listeners, but like that big. Trash can lid? Yeah, but, oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> trash can lid. Yeah, trash can lid big. Medium trash can, uh, bottom to mid thick. Like a waste paper basket. Thick as a, like, th thick the as a waste box. paper basket, round as a, as a regular garbage can Ooh, lid. Ooh, we're doing a seance, folks. <laughs> thick as a waste paper basket, uh, round as a regular garbage can lid. And did you, how close were you to this turtle? Very close. He he frankly snuck up on me. <laughs> now I was in Hawaii. Here's a here's a quick little story. I was in sure. Hawaii uh, when I was in college, and my bestie came with our family, and she had never been like anywhere except for Ohio and Michigan. So she's in Hawaii having the time of her life. But we're there like the second day, and we take out the snorkeling gear just to go a little bit out. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of an anxious person, and she felt something touch her leg and she panicked. I'm out! She panicked. <laughs> Absolutely. And she she tried to stand up in the coral reef and she jammed her foot oh. down. And she's like, Sunday, baby! And so I'm going, I'm going, oh. uh, don't panic! Don't panic! I'm screaming at her and she's like totally panicking. So I hook my arm under her arm and I'm like, I'm like screaming at her just like, go limp! Go limp! And I'm like swimming her back and we get back and sure enough, the pad, the uh, bottom heel of her foot, there's some uh, blood there. And 
Uh, my aunt's like, pee on it. I'm like, it's not a That's jellyfish. Not, it's you ridiculous. don't just do that for everything. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous. I'm like, this is not an episode of Friends. We're not going to pee on it. So we get back to the, uh, the the condo we had rented, and I get some tweezers, and I get, the, I get it, and I pull this thing out, and it's like a piece of plant that she jammed down on. I pull it out, and the top of the plant seemed like the tip maybe was broken off. So it was like green, and then there was some white there. And I'm like, hmm. So I, 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 she goes, did you get it? I'm like, yeah, I think so. I think so. I show it to her. And then like a half hour later, I'm just sitting there thinking about it. And finally I go, I think, there, I think there's some still in there. And she's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. So we go to emergency care in Hawaii. They do an x-ray. Her panic, she jammed her foot down so hard. This thing is up in there. So she has to wrap the foot. They said, like, you're not going to, you know, die. You have to deal with this when you get home. And so she couldn't swim anymore on the trip. Wait, 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 wait. Why did you have to deal with what? Because it required a surgery. It required, like, a podiatry surgery. So then she, And we have not yet imported... Podiatrist well, and, to well I mean, frankly, she was financially worried and like, sure. it was just of course, Absolutely. So we like rented, um, you know, uh, those fucking crutches at the like local Walmart. She had to be on crutches the rest of the trip. She was wrapped. As soon as she got home, they took it out. She was out of work for like six weeks. She was a waitress. Nightmare. Shout out Sherry McDaniel. That's what happens when you panic in the water. Yes. You make an ass of yourself. Yes. How big was the piece that came out of her foot? It was just the it was just the top. It was the tip of this thing. Oh, really? Yeah. It was just the top. It was like probably it was probably like a mini, mini trash can in a dollhouse with <laughs> mm-hmm. It was unbelievable. I have a perfect idea. Yeah. You feel I feel like they could have dug that out at Hawaii Emergency. I was thinking that as well, but they showed their sh- they pulled up the X-ray and it looked it looked pretty. It was impressive. up in there, right? It was up. up it was in all there. up in there. It was all just yeah. what had happened. <laughs> so how, how that's episode that's episode twenty eight. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart. Was this wait was was this the same day as you saw the turtle? No, I saw the turtle a couple days later because I get to go out oh. in the boat and go swimming and she has to sit on the edge of the boat the whole time just watching us. With her dumb beach crutches. Because she crutches. couldn't see with her stupid rented crutches because she couldn't get in the water. I, I mean, it was, I felt so bad for her because I had even been to Hawaii. That was not my first time. It was like her first time. She couldn't, <laughs> she couldn't swim. She'd only known two of the most miserable places on earth before that. That's right, yeah. Ohio and Michigan. Hey, come on. Michigan. I'm joking <laughs> around guys <laughs> um what uh how much does it cost to rent crutches i can't recall i mean we didn't buy them i know that much. Well, i should hope not of course Ooh. not so we rented them from the, the drugstore i feel like if you buy crutches you're committing to needing them again and if you rent crutches you're saying i'm never gonna let this yeah happen. that's right and see that's being positive thinking thank you ladies and gentlemen we have to take a break during the break you will listen to the ad. When we return, we will reveal the location for our improv provided to us by our guest, Jay Ellis, and then we're going to do that improv. All this and nothing else when Spontaneous Nation returns. Spontaneans, I want to tell you about some fun things that are coming up. First off, London, England. Oh, boy. I am going to the London Podcast Festival. I'm doing two shows there. This is exciting. Super Ego Live and Spontanea Nation Live. Yes! Friday the 14th, Super Ego Live. Saturday the 15th, Spontanea Nation Live. London Podcast Festival. This is exciting to me. And I hope to you. October... I am going to be returning to St. Paul, Minneapolis, the Fitzgerald Theater, Saturday, October 13th, The Hilarious Night of Depression. This is John Moe's podcast, The Hilarious World of Depression. Um, It's a great podcast where people talk about mental health. I have appeared on it, and I have listened to it. It's very helpful um, to know that you're not so alone. Uh And he's doing a live show that's going to be a kind of variety show. It's going to be me. It's going to be Amy Mann and Ted Leo, Anna Marie Cox, 
hosted by John Moe. There's going to be music, discussion, and there's a costume element to it because it's near Halloween. People are going to dress up as their favorite depression symptoms or treatments. This is for real. So this is going to be a, dare I say, a crazy night that you should come out and see. Um, and then, of course, don't forget, in Los Angeles, b- the Bajillionaires do improv. That's all, me and the, the cast of Bajillion Dollar Properties. The third Tuesdays of the month through November at UCB Franklin and Work Juice Improv. That's me and my pals from the Thrilling Adventure Hour, all the ones that do improv. We're doing the last Wednesdays of the month at Dynasty Typewriter, just doing some improv shows through September. All of these shows, of course, all the lineups are subject to cast availability. But go to paulftompkins.com slash live for tickets and more information. And don't forget to check out Eben Schletter's podcast, Eben Schletter's Fantastical Musicorium. Uh, I wanted to end it at fantastic, but it's more than fantastic. It's fantastical. There you go. Get it where you get your podcasts. We love you. Back to the show. Welcome back, everybody. Folks, it is time to reveal the location for our improv. But first, just so as you know, in order to aid us in our storytelling, we use three sound effects that move us about in space and time. Let's say we're in a scene. We need to travel into the past for some reason. Someone's having a memory. We're learning how something came to be. Anytime we travel into the past, we use this flashback sound effect. Now, if we want to return back to where we were in the scene or any time we travel into the future, we use this flash forward sound effect. Now, this final sound moves us only in space, not in time. Let's say we're in a scene. We want to find out what's happening at the exact same moment somewhere else, just moving laterally in time. Mm Mm-hmm. We use this meanwhile sound effect. Mm. Past. Present. Future. Everyone gets it. And now it is time to reveal the location for our improv provided to us by our guest Jay Ellis and our location is Eudora, Arkansas. Eudora, Arkansas. We take you now to Eudora, Arkansas. Here, Piggy! Hey, Peggy! Tina, I'm frankly worried about Junior. I don't think he's looking too well these days. Hey, it comes to times in a pig's life like his that, uh, it may be the end of the road for him. But he's so young. I understand. I understand. Pigs don't know time, though. Not like human beings. They're different from that's, us. That's very true, Father. Very true. Morning, Blake. Morning, Shaq. Morning. How you doing? Well, I've been better. We're having some difficult conversations about life and mortality. Oh, this early in the morning? Yeah, it's early in the morning. You see, pigs don't know daylight from nightlight. There's no earlier for a pig or late for a pig. <laughs> Look at Junior over there. He's not looking too good. No, no. What's he eating on? We're not sure. Uh, Looks to me to be a a croissant of some sort. (laughs) Now, where in the world did that pig get a croissant? Well, I go to the grocery store and I ask for whatever they got. And sometimes they give me some fancy stuff and sometimes they give me just some scripts. What'll it be today, Miss Shaq? That's very good, Stephen. That's very good. That's exactly how we do it. All right, good. Thank you. Oh, is this a new new fella? I'm training. I'm training. I'm not supposed to even be here. Just ignore me. He's on his own. How can I ignore you with that beautiful hat? You look gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Should I leave? Uh, no, go ahead with the transaction and remember the four points of quality service. Be friendly. Mm-hmm. Be gracious. Mm-hmm. Be grateful. Mm-hmm. Be gone. Mm-hmm. And the secret one? Be overselling. Yes. And I, I heard that. Oh. What? You heard the secret? Sorry, I'm just going to take a step back. Careful. Get, watch that edge. Ah! 
And just like that, he was gone. My wife got a brand new hat, and she was oversold on a bunch of croissants. That's what happened. Do they call it overselling? I think they meant upsell, right? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, now... He finishes for salt. Oh, 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 oh. Miss Shep, the, what's going on? This is the hardest part of farm living. We're going to have to call the Eudora vet and have him come down and do what a man's got to do when a pig's not feeling well. Excuse me as I use my smartphone. Sure. He's very good at this. It recognizes his face. Hey, smartphone. And his voice. Smartphone, can you hear me? What would you like to do? Hey, how you doing, smartphone? Thank you for asking. I'm fine. What would you like to do? They spend a lot of time talking to each other, but I'm not the jealous type, so I guess that's okay. You're wearing a dead man's hat, woman. Don't start in on me. I'm sorry. I do not understand. Oh, sorry about that, smartphone. I was having a little squabble with my wife. What would you like to do? Oh, thank Don't No need to get pushy. Hey, Junior is not feeling well. One of our big pigs is eating on a croissant. Could you call the vet for me and have him come by and uh, take a look at him? I see four vets in the area. Which vet four you vets? Like? Four, four vets. vets. Four. What is this? Hawaii? Yeah. Where are we? Hawaii. Four. Uh, what smartphone? Are you sure that they're actually Calling four vets? Doctor vet? Hawaii. Doctor Hawaii. Oh, oh, smartphone. No, doc, no, no, no. Doctor Hawaii's office may I help you. Uh, uh I, I reckon uh, my smartphone just called you. Uh, are you in the Eudora area? Uh, yes, Arkansas. we are. Oh, you are? Yes. Well, I'll be damned. As we say uh, where I'm from, well, I'll be a piece of broken off coral in the foot of a poor woman. Okay, hey, I'm, look I'm here. I'm also from here, so I've never heard that before. Oh, <laughs> that's different. <laughs> look here. My- look at him flirting with the, <laughs> the, the secretary. Look at him. He's just a flirt. Flirt with everybody. I said, doctor on the phone. It ain't no damn secretary, woman. Well, whatever it is, stop giggling like a school marm. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Could you repeat that? What is, what oh, is it that you need? Well, as Did you we need to say, talk to the doctor? Yeah, well, polish my apple. This is oh, unbelievable. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm having trouble hearing you, sir. There's a lot of grumbling in the background. Woman, I am on the phone right now trying to get this pig some help. Okay, sir. Do you have a veterinary emergency or not? I do. Uh, I thought my smartphone would tell you what was going on, but my pig <laughs> junior is not feeling so well. I don't so think well. that's out. The what would smart- you like to do? <laughs> hey, smartphone, would you please tell Dr. Hawaii? <laughs> oh, now you're having a three-way. Isn't this fun? Well, it reminds of our little trip to Lake Cuomo when you got a little frisky with all those Italian ladies. God wanna do damn a- it! Roman, stop talking about George Clooney's place! <laughs> George Clooney has a place in the same second moment. Smartphone, would you just tell the doctor what it is I need? Of course. Of course, uh, he needs a uh, help with his. Oh crap! My battery. Um, hello, hello. My battery ran low. Oh, just on the on the telling part. But <laughs> what would you like to do? <laughs> Can I ask what what brand phone you have, sir? <laughs> yes, you might. I think this is going to be so perfect for you. Huh. It's really resilient, yeah, uh, and it's great for farming. All right. Well, let, let's see. Let's flip that over. It also man. comes with a 10-year uh, production plan. Or not you right. that young Good fella job. that works at the... Yep. Steven? Wait, go ahead, but introduce yourself first before you start selling. My name's Stephen. Hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm good. I tried to get a job at the store, but uh, the grocery store, but they wouldn't have me. They said I needed more retail experience. Uh, Denise, first. whose commission is this going to be exactly? Like, are there three of us working this sale? Or? Uh, we'll, we'll let the customer decide who he is actually purchasing it from. Oop, and if you oh, could, my button popped open. Uh oh, boy! Oh, God, you're, put oh, your, t- your oh, tit yeah. is Uh-oh. your tit is completely. It's my out. Bar- Rest. Oh, I man. can't compete. Man, if this smartphone was really smart, it would tell her that I don't really even enjoy women's sexual pleasures. I wish it was that smart. What would you like to I'm do? I'm standing Whoa. right behind you. This is on. Un- you know what? I'm going to go to Annie M's and I, get a pretzel. I, you woman, son of a... Woman up. And the health of the pig needs to be examined. Okay, well... Do you understand, mm-hmm. doctor? I'm not the doctor. I'm oh, just uh, a secretary. Uh, is there a difference? There's a vast difference, sir. I, I'm. 
The doctor doesn't answer the phone. Hey, so. Joanne. <clears throat> Joanne. Yeah. Yes, Doctor Hawaii. Call, so I'm going to go out and get a submarine sandwich. Could you hold my call, Do- Doctor Hawaii? I'm so sorry, but there's a there's a pig emergency. <sighs> a phone just told me. A, a pig emergency. Yeah. And where's the location of that? I'll go right away. I've got to get my van. Okay, I'll, I'll write, give me your address. I'll route, write it down. Route 21, Eudora. Route, route 21. Route 21. Right here in Eudora. Now, did, you fill, did you fill up my van? Of course I did, Doctor. With gas? With gas a hall. And snacks. <laughs> yes, Doctor. Which, How many gallons would you like, sir, of the gas a hall? It's, ma'am, um... I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, forgive me, but I do not see sexes. That's not a thing. <laughs> Wait, you're... So, I don't understand if you're getting... Uh, I'm frankly not clear if you're a man or woman, but, well, yeah, we can cut your hair any way you want. I'm a woman, so... You just don't sound the, sure, so I'm just saying. I'm very sure. Just give me the... Do you want it... We could feather it short, bob it. We could... I mean, I'm frankly, you look like a man. I just, I want the haircut that I asked for, a simple bowl cut. <laughs> I'm so happy. Well, man, uh, here's your beautiful... Mm, Jesus. Franklin, could you check out this baby's growing area? Is everything okay, okay with my baby? No, no, the baby is absolutely healthy. Would you think just one tip, man. Would yeah. you check out the groin area and just let me know what you think this baby is? The front side of the groin? Yeah, either one. Any, any side of it. Just, uh, I'm just I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I mean, it's that's, a I've vagina. Seen no, that's, it's, that's, that's, that is not a vagina. <sighs> These are my first words. I can't believe it. Oh, you're... <laughs> Route one, please, please do hurry, doctor. Route one, Eudora, doctor. Okay, well, I'll get on my way. And just, uh, um, if I get into my van... And yeah. the snacks aren't there that I like. Joanna, there's going to be trouble. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be frankly, I'll be livid. Doctor, we've been through this so many times, and I don't know why you think I'm lying when I say I fill well, up your car with snacks. Well, it's just I've been there before where I get out there and there's snacks, but I, I specifically said I want the Keebler striped chocolate cookies. Right. What would you bring me last time? You got the generic store brand. Because they didn't have the Keebler No, brand. you want to save money. I did want to save money, yes. Frankly, doctor, we're not doing well. There's a car coming up the road. I oh, hope it's probably, Dr. Hawaii. Probably Dr. Hawaii. Or his secretary. She seems very Oh, I hope, she, I hope the there's secretary no secretary coming, coming up. Why would the woman, secretary? Woman! <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Well, there goes Look the chicken that. coop. Look at Great. that. Great. <laughs> Great. Guess we're having chicken for dinner. How's everybody doing? Let's, uh, mm-hmm. I, I heard there's a sick pig around here. Well, okay. you're starting at a deficit for your cost because you just ran over our coop, so you owe us 150 150 dollars. Yeah. All right. Well, fair is fair. No, well, yeah, sir, uh-huh. I, I, I appreciate you speaking to my wife like a human being. I will admit, uh-huh. I have in the past not treated you the way a woman needs to be treated. Whoa. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Doctor, uh, you tell. Listen, you now you tell him how you feel. I uh, I acknowledge your uh, compliment and I thank you. I feel heard finally, Do- finally. Doctor, you son of a bitch! You ain't even been here two minutes and you fixed my marriage. Hey, listen. Sometimes a sick pig lives inside of us, right? All we right. fix ourselves. Pig will fix itself. You now know, I'm gonna I- get in my van. Wait, wait, hold hey, on. Hey. I mean, you haven't even touched my pig yet. <laughs> You're saying that since you hey. fixed me and my wife, that the pig will just get better on its own? Well, you want to check it out? Look over at that pig. Of course. Pig. He, if I look over there, he's going to be laying down and so, my God. Oh my, he looks terrific. Where'd that he pig. get that top hat? Junior, he's all dressed up. He's dressed to the nines. God, what I do is not fix the animal, I fix what the animal needs. Not an animal need you getting along. Hey, Dr. Hawaii. Yep. You look familiar to I me. I gotta go. Hold on I a gotta... second. Hold on a second. That bald head. Uh huh. That bald. mustache. Uh, that is right. no, t- He's you fixing take it easy, relationships. Okay. You take it easy. What's your first name, Dr. Hawaii? Yeah, is it Philip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dr. Philip. So if I were to call you, if I if I knew you well. Hey. And maybe I shortened your uh, name. 
don't you dare do this. What's going on going here? Down what is what, what's going on? I feel here? a tension in the air. And how's that make you feel? I feel excited. Okay. Tingly. See? Are y'all blind? Don't you see this Dr. Hawaii? He is? What? He's Dr. Not, Phil. Don't you dare. Doctor. Oh. I'll see y'all later. What? what? <laughs> He's off in his fancy Italian sports car. That was Dr. Phil. Not only that, he had a van disguised as a sports car or vice versa. <laughs> Wrong word. He had a fancy Italian sports van. Oh, he's heading straight for the lake. No, no, Dr. Phil, take a ride. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Hold on, Dave. Don't feel it. Doctor, you're in the hospital. Wake up. Wake doctor, up, you're doctor. in the hospital. Doake doctor, wake up. Doctor, doctor, oh, wake up. Dr. Oh, Phil, wake up. We were doctor. able to pull what? you from your automobile in the great huh? Eudora Lake. Thank God that the snacks were in there and the air was trapped into the snack packets and gave you enough oxygen until emergency vehicles if, got there. If you hadn't breathed into those bags of cookies, you may have died. And luckily, they weren't the ones with the chocolate stripes on them. That would have choked you. Yes. Oh, luckily, no. someone got you plain ones. Pretty lucky. Joanna's mistake saved my life. Can I, it wasn't a mistake. Who, who, say, who's, can, I tell him, can I tell him the bad news? Oh, please, please tell him the bad news. Wait, that wasn't the bad news? That sounded horrible. No, you're no, alive. You're, you're yeah, alive. Li- Everything they just said was good news. Yeah. <laughs> please, please I tell agree. them. I agree. It was, it was that extremely was so lucky. Negative. It was lucky My news. God. It's almost like you don't know the difference between good and bad. <laughs> now I'm going to poke you right now with a hot stick in the eye. Tell me how that feels. Okay. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> please tell them the bad news. Doctor... First of all, you're welcome for the generic brand cookies. Second, there's um, there's been a complication. What? There's a a piece of snack is... You said you pulled it out, though. We thought we'd gotten all of it. We didn't get all no. of it. There's a piece. They let me assist in there's the a, search. Yes. We just love Joanne. I, I've actually made dinner Thank plans with you. her. You are fun. Can you You're fun. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to show you a diagram now. Let me just pull this oh my God, board that's down. Huge. It's a diagram. Yeah. Well, Why it's is huge. It so it's a medical it's diagram. It's blown up. It's actually a baby's dollhouse. Yes. Now, if you'll look over here in the baby's dollhouse kitchen, yes. you'll see some kitchen implements there. Oh, I like that. I always like dolls. Now, you see the here where they throw away the little baby dollhouse cans. Yes, yes. Is that an attic? That's, yes, that's an attic. There's but always we're, an we're, attic. We're, yes. we're, we're in the kitchen now, oh, doctor. Also, There's this a, dollhouse, not to get sidetracked, but please. this is the only dollhouse that has a basement. Yeah. Yes. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that said... The baby dollhouse garbage can, the trash can in the kitchen. Yes. You have a piece of snack stuck in your foot about half the size of Wait, one of those Wait, it has dolls. a basement? Yes. yes. Yeah, the dollhouse has a basement. Yes. How does that work? How does it work? I am going to revolutionize the dollhouse. In what way will you do that? I have the same idea to your build. <laughs> I, I literally do not know what you said. Let me be more clear. Yeah, 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 the idea to yes, build. Yes, I did. Yeah, build. Yeah, <laughs> basement. The idea is to build a basement in the dollhouse. Thank you for translating. But of course. That's what we have to listen to as dollhouse is. Dollhouse revolutionized. Right, every, right, yes, every little boy or little girl, maybe when they were growing up, they went into their parents' or grandparents' basement. Or even the ones who do not know if their boys are girls. That's yeah. right. And no child should ever not be told they can or cannot play with dolls or go down into basement. Yes, That's yes, right. Yes, yes man, yes. for everybody. Yes, for everybody. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's so, interesting. But basement. don't focus on the basement. Okay, I won't. It's best not to think about it too much. There's a piece of snack in me. Yes, there's yes, a yes. piece of We're snack afraid we may actually have to send you to the place where you got your fake name to get that removed, to Hawaii. Yes, the See, best surgeons in Hawaii, they are adept at removing snacks from various orifices. Is that all, true? Yes, all the snack specialists moved to Hawaii because... They were rich, and they're like, why not live in Hawaii? That's right. Joanne? Uh, one ticket for Hawaii. Certainly. And uh, the round trip? Uh, one way. <laughs> oh, really? I'm a snack specialist. Sir, you oh, just, I'm so sorry, sir. Sir, I'm you sorry. just dropped your bank account. Here you are. Oh, thank you very much. Very heavy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sir, my dog is... 
indicating there's something in your bag. There's nothing in there. Stand with your hands on your hips. Uh, Move in a circle slowly. That's not my bag. Well, it was attached to your wrist. Sir, put your right foot in. Put your right foot in. Put your right foot out, sir. Okay. Shake it. Shake it. Shake all it. about. Shake it all about. All about. Every direction. <laughs> Every direction possible. North, east, south, west. Whoa, holy shit. All right, you can go. You're fine. We've motored up the motor on the plane. We have motored up the motor. The motor has been motored up. And we're ready to take you to Hawaii, Doctor. We're all, we're going to fly the plane ourselves. Yes. We're going to take you there right now. Joanne, you right. are Do you have a, a jack trance of all trades. I'm a jack trance of all trades. What kind of plane are we flying on? Is this? It's brown. Oh. Perfect. You like brown, don't you, Doctor? Love brown. <laughs> well, nurse. <laughs> this is your lucky day. Prep the doctor for flight. All right, prepping. Doctor, I'm going to attach this little thing to your wrist okay. for safety. For safety. <laughs> nurse, do you not know what that little thing is? <laughs> Ask your smartphone nurse. Nurse, or, or excuse me, Siri. What would what you like it, me to do? Siri, what is the plastic thing nurses attach to wrists when patients are flying? It is a security measure and breath d- t- twink. Siri, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today when I was programming Siri at work, <laughs> I put in such word as breath t- ain't taint. Oh my God, yeah, you're yeah, so yeah. fucking on awesome, the mimi. I'll show these rich sum of bees someday. I'll show. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go ahead and record a bunch of different words for uh, the Siri program. That's very, great. Very That's great. Yeah. You sounds so good. You're um, going to kill this, Bethany, nailing it. Yeah, mm-hmm. honestly, like we're really, we're really excited to even... See you doing this because yeah. okay, let like, us begin. Make her say piss. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we do have to record everything, so yeah. piss yeah. is actually one. Of piss, <laughs> piss, taint, taint, butthole. Piss, yeah. taint, butthole. Oh my piss, god, you're nailing butthole. this. Piss. Up. Let me cross that but, one off. All right, all right. Let's about mark the, that. Mark, mark one. Lid, lid scrub. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I'm just finding it in the papers. Go ahead and lid scrub, please. Lid scrub. And okay. could you do those separately? <laughs> what? Just do them separately. Say well. what? Whoa. Whoa. I'm sorry. Um, I do two words at the minimum at a time. This is what, you know ha- what? This is what happens you. when you go nine. No, 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 no. F you. No, 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 no. And F you. No, wow. you can. That was two words. <laughs> okay, doctor. We're on the brown plane. <laughs> Okay, uh-huh. I'm still not sure what this little thing is it's attached to. Sec- it's a security, it's a security device. security device. For my breath taint? For your breath taint. For your breath taint. Already. Every taint breathes, okay? And or it yours, should. yours is no different. <laughs> I'll radio uh, Hawaii, let them know we're coming in. Uh, thank uh, you, Doctor. Hawaii, this is Brown Plane approaching Ooh. for a landing. How are you guys today? We're, well, we've been better. We've been what's better. going on over there? What's, what's the bad? Do you want to tell them or should I? Uh. <laughs> Uh, the, the entire air traffic control tower is filling with water at a rapid pace. Uh, y- there's not much we can do, but we are in Hawaii. Is this, uh, maybe kind of part of the, the whole deal here? We're being underneath water here. Maybe we can make this into something cool. Could you guys keep it down? We're on the horn with uh, a brown plate. Oh, oh, so yeah. sorry. Wow. Sorry. Uh, I just so you know, we are filling up with water. Yeah, I can feel it. It's on my ankles. Yeah, and soon okay. it'll be in your mid area. Yeah, your Ooh. mid area. Ooh la la. Make your, make your taint hey, breathe. you can't say that here. Whoa, sorry. Ooh. Mid area. Oh. We got to talk to HR. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come. Oh. Brown plane, go ahead. <laughs> Air traffic control, HR. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. Um, I was. Do you remember when the, the tower filled up with water? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of lost in that incident was when one of my superiors talked uh, about my mid area. You said what? One of my superiors said something about my mid area getting wet. I'm sorry, you can't say that. No, I'm making the. Did I can't just, say it to make the complaint. HR, what happened to you? Um, I was <laughs> working mm-hmm. and a. Air traffic controller came in. Okay, this is, this is so far so normal. And do you remember when the air traffic control tower filled up with water? Oh, that was unbelievable. Well, lost in that incident mm-hmm. was an incident that created the incident that happened when this 
gentleman came and complained to me. Okay, take a deep breath and go ahead. Take a deep breath into your nose, out through your mouth. He, he said that somebody commented on his mid area. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Tina. Whoa, 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 what? That's what you said? I, I'm sorry, I blanked How on all my training. How long had you worked for HR? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? How long had you worked for HR? HR, how long had you worked for HR? Um, I've worked for HR for 17 years. But how long for HR? Uh, as far as I know, never. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I'm in the wrong place. Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil, wake up. Oh, my God. Hi. Wake up. Uh, We've got Oprah on the phone. Oh, my God. I want to talk to her. <laughs> Can I talk? Were you bragging or are you going to let me talk to her? Hi, this is Deadman. Oh, is Oprah there? Uh, no. Who, who is this? Uh, is this, this Phil? Is, no, this is Dr. White. <laughs> is this Phil? Now, why would you say that? What did I... Stedman! I who know. are you talking to? <laughs> hey, Opie. It's, uh, it's nobody in particular. Hi. Tell her it's Phil. God damn it. It's Put Phil. Her on the phone, it's Stedman. Phil. It's Phil. Phil! Hi, Stedman. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit about you. I know. Okay. Put I know. Opie on the phone. Here you go, Opie. Phil, how are you doing? I've been better. I'm on a brown plane to Y. I got something attached that to That sounds great. You get a trip and you're on a trip and you're on a trip. Listen, I, I don't know how much I'm, if I'm going to make it, okay? I got a snack inside me, <laughs> part of a snack inside me, and I don't know what's going to oh, happen. You're preaching to the choir. Do I've you had have many a... snacks inside of me over You're... the years. Wait, you got them taken out, though, or you just let them grow in there? I went on Weight Watchers, <laughs> and I worked to put the proper amount of snacks. Ask her if she loves bread. Uh, do you, bread? Yeah, ask her if she loves bread. Okay. All right. uh, how much do you love bread? I love bread. <laughs> what did I tell you? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, listen, I, I, I guess uh, it was great talking to you. Bye. <laughs> Honey, I'm getting feeds from the news over a, a brown plane having some trouble over Hawaii. Oh, you're listening in the garage? Yeah, what? I'm listening in the garage to the international radio. What would you like me to do? <laughs> to... Uh, Find out, make sure that that's not the same brown plane that Dr. Hawaii is on on his way to Hawaii. I found this on the internet. What'd it say? It said <laughs> that they, it is the same plane. Oh, no. Holy hell. I can only imagine the hell that's going on on that plane right now. Oh, honey, you feel so much. You are such a good man. Hey. You're a better woman. Hey, y'all, oh, hey, y'all. I'll tell you, oh. I've made it. To, I'm taking this plane down. Why? Dr. Phil, why? Why? Because why? If I'm ta if I'm going down with a snack in my body, I'm taking you all down with me. Dr. Phil, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. <gasps> Joanne, you can save us. Dr. Phil. <laughs> no. We can remove the snack from your body if we get to Hawaii. I can't have it in me anymore. You either take it out right now. Dr. Phil. Whatever the hell's going on on that plane, Junior the pig is getting sicker and sicker. Oh Something's got to turn around. Dr. Phil. Well, no. Think of all the pigs and marriages that you've saved. Honey, babe, the dog is laying in what the trough. What would you like me to do? Isn't it funny? We have a, uh, uh, we have a dog named Babe. And a pig named Junior. Junior. Calling Babe. Dr. Phil. Right. <laughs> well, I'm taking it down. I'm sorry. You are not done yet. You have work to do on this earth. My commissions are so down. I haven't sold the T-Mobile in like two weeks. Dr. No, Phil. Here we go. No. This is it. Dr. Phil. We need you. <gasps> Dr. Phil. No one's ever needed you. We need you. Dr. Phil. We need you. Say it again. Dr. Dr. Phil. Phil. We, we need you. you. Say, no, one at a time. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. First. okay. okay. No, he, uh, Which one? You have heard. The nurse. Okay. The nurse. Okay. okay. All right. Dr. Phil. We need you. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Dr. Phil. Okay. We need you. Oh, that was good. The junior surgeon. That's okay. me. You go. Dr. Phil, uh -huh. we need you. Right overlap. Do it once. Just a little bit overlap? Just a little overlap. Aaron, Aaron Sorkin style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dr. Phil, Dr. we Phil, need you. Dr. Phil, Phil, we need you. There it is. Oh, okay. that, was, that was excellent. Okay. Oh, thank it. God, he's pulling up. Okay. Did, Babe, he's, he's, he's back up on two legs. Oh, he's oh, back up on two legs. Oh, thank God. Oh, 
I gotta thank you guys. No one's ever taken the time to save me. I spent all my life trying to save other people, and you guys took the time to save me. That's right, and all it took was you putting all our lives in danger. Yeah. That's it. Let me call it for a land. This is uh, the this is uh, brown plane coming in for a landing on runway two o o o. Okay, we got. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't hear you. <laughs> Sounds good enough for us. Coming in. <laughs> well, Doctor Phil, I feel so good now. Your the piece of snack is out, and you've made aviation history by landing that plane. I didn't think we were going to do it after I dumped all the fuel. But we, that, that brown, the brown planes yeah. glide. Dr. Phil, there's a the, family from uh, Eudora, Arkansas, who's on the line Eudora. for you right now. I think it's Eudora. I don't, I don't I know. I used to work in Eudora. What do you Yeah, yeah that's where that's, we got you. Like you were in the hospital. It's like a day ago. This just yeah. happens. Long time ago, I used to own it a was, business there you, with, with Joanne. The you, business is still hot. You don't sir. know why. Uh, you don't know time anymore, do you, Dr. Phil? Like, time doesn't mean, like, oh, kind of no. like the pigs of Eudora. Time means nothing to you. How much is this call costing? Why can't we get through to them? Hang up the phone. All right. I don't want to wait all day to talk to him. Is it long distance in Hawaii? Is Baby, Hawaii its own thing? Dr. Phil made you a more gracious person earlier. Remember his teachings. Now, we want to talk to that man and thank him for what he's done for our city. You're right. And our Still pig. holding for Dr. Phil. Hey, hey, smartphone. Yes, what could, would you like me to do? Could you just tell the smartphone that Dr. Phil is holding, just tap him on the shoulder, tell your smartphone friend to tap Dr. Phil on the shoulder. Communicating what, with other smartphones. What's that buzzing? Incoming knowledge from smartphones. <laughs> Wow, this is this is, a, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Look at the smartphone; it's putting itself right up to Doctor Phil's ear. Oh my God, it's levitating! <laughs> oh, it's tapping him on the shoulder. <laughs> what the hell? What? How? How's can, this happening? Can you? Can you? Can you hear me? Somebody is trying to communicate with you. Hey, smartphone! Tell smartphone that I can take over now. Why? Well, I mean, why didn't the phone just ring? Why can't I ever get? Phone. Baby, you're over that now. He fixed it. Well, Smartphone doctor. letting human take over in 20, 19. Oh, boy. What the? Oh, <laughs> Just put it on speaker, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Phil. Hey, you're in the middle of Why do you have, free, you have to wait all those seconds? I, I, can hear, 15. I can hear what's happening on the other side. Well, I can't because they won't even let me anywhere near uh -oh. Battery died in the end. Oh, damn it! <laughs> and it all happened in a place called Spontaneous Nation. <laughs> Jamie Boyer! Uh, what do you want to tell people about? Where can people find you? Oh, I, who knows what I'll be into and up to, but just follow me on the old Twitter and, and then you'll find out. And it's... <laughs> It's Jay. Yeah, take that, you asshole. <laughs> take that. Take that, the uncertain career of an actor. <laughs> ah, that's right. Uh, Jam, Jamie, J-A-I-M-E underscore Moyer that's on right. Twitter and Jam Detroit on Instagram. There you go. Mm. She made it easy mm. for you. Mm -hmm. Raggle. Please. 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 It's, it's, we're just pre-fall. If you could... <laughs> If uh, you could. Get ready to check out the season two premiere Yay. of The Last OG. Probably coming up sometime very soon. But in the meantime, check out the first season. And uh, follow me at Rygal, R-Y-G-A-U-L, on Instagram. And Ryan F. Gall oh, me crazy. on Twitter. I know. Talk they should be the Gall. same. Uh. They should be the same. But um, thank you, Paul. Thank, <laughs> Man, thank, thank you, Ryan. Paul. I love you. I love you, too. Here we go. Yeah. Say it. Oh, are you ready for these plugs? Son of a gun. Gary Thanks. Anthony Williams. <laughs> That's who I am. That's who I am. I used to work for HR. <laughs> I am uh, Gary Anthony Williams <laughs> on Instagram, at Gary A. Williams, uh, at Gary A. Williams on Twitter. I think at this time, uh, maybe, hopefully, season two of I'm Sorry uh, on Beautiful True TV with Andrea Savage should be up where I play her black friend. <laughs> yeah. Does she need a fat for it? Uh, I'm going to play both of them. That show is hilarious. That show is brilliant. It's legitimately 
hilarious. It is brilliantly funny. Yeah. Brilliantly funny. Guys, what else do you need to magical. hear? What else do you need to hear? How much we love you. Wait, is Andrea magical? Andrea magical. Andrea is Andrea savage. magical. Andrea is savage. Andrea magical is savage, exactly. and Andrea savage is it's magical. magical. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> oh my god, he died. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> did you say your socials? Oh uh, yes, I did. Okay, all right. I did. I said them well. <laughs> yes, I did. Folks, Ebbage Schletter, he's Ebbage Schletter and all the things. Go to EbbageSletter.com. Check out Ebbage Schletter's non-spontaneous nation work because Ebbage Schletter is only the best. How do you spell Ebbage Schletter? It's real simple. E-B-A and it's C-H-L-E-T-T-E-R. As for me, go to PaulFTompkins.com slash live. See where we're going to be. Um, also, well, first of all, uh, 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 we're going to be doing... Um, shit. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me just find it. I have all my notes Take open on my time. phone. It's crazy. Work Juice Improv is happening. Nope, it's not anymore. We did it already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. No. <laughs> Hold on a second. No. <laughs> Work. Here's in order. In order. The London Podcast Festival, September 15th. Spontaneous Nation Live is happening. Um, the Bajillionaires are going to be back at UCB Franklin Tuesday, September 18th. Work Juice Improv at Dynasty Typewriter Wednesday, September 26th. Go to pauloftompkins.com slash live. See all the dates, all the ticket links. Uh, be happy. Be happy. I want you to be happy. Thank you to Earwolf for hosting the podcast. Thank you to Engineer Sam for engineering us all the way to the end of the show, which this is. Goodbye forever. Until next week, this is Paul F. Tompkins saying Semper in Presenti. Presenti.